the gospel of life, incorruption, immortality, and sonship with the bondservant of Christ, John Anosike. The Bible says, and God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. So God's vision was to declare his image in man. God's vision was to bring the image of God in a man. God's image, God's vision was to impose, transmit, and establish his image in man. So he says, let us make man. And let's, in that process of making man, we're going to give him the capacity to take on the image of God. We're going to give the man the capacity to take on the image of God. But the question is, was the man in the garden in the image of God. If I'm to answer that question, it's simply no. The reason I took that position is because it is impossible to corrupt God's image. If, if man had received the image of God that he intended, then that man would not have been corrupted with sin. God's image is incorruptible. God's image is undefined. God's image is exclusively His. So God's attributes are immutable. God's attributes are absolute. So if God wills His nature and His image into anybody, it means that that person has stepped up to God's capacity of existence. So when God says, let us make man in our image, he was simply saying, let's make a creature that will take on our incorruptible, immortal, and eternal nature that would not be in any way killed, destroyed, or alienated from his plans, from his nature. And of course, one of the major principles to achieving this thing would be that Jesus would take on the image of God. Jesus would become the gatekeeper, the custodian, the way. God would have to achieve man stepping up to his image through the person of Christ. Now, you know, without Jesus Christ, nobody can receive the image of God. Jesus is the express image of God. So there's no other way we can become or take on the image of God without seeing Jesus. You can't not become Christ if you have not beheld him as he is. Shout amen, sons of God. In fact, the second person of the Godhead was revealed unto us for one purpose. That we might through him 
can gain his image, can become the ex, can become the image of God. Nobody receives God's image without beholding the express image of God in the person of Jesus Christ. So Jesus is the revelation, the custodian, the personality, the, 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 the one who is the personified custodian of all of God's things. He is not just the only express image of the Father, he's also one who upholds all things with the word of his power. And he was appointed heir over all things. So, so by him all things were made. So whatever that is created, visible, invisible, tangible, intangible, spiritual or material, whatever it is, Jesus is the Lord of it all. He's the Lord of creation. the Bible says God in sundry times had spoken unto us through the prophets but in this last days God has spoken to us he has spoken God has spoken to us in the presence of Jesus Christ so God isn't speaking to anybody directly in the Old Testament, he spoke to us through his prophets. And in this last days, he's spoken through his son. You want to hear the mind of God? Go listen to his son. Do you want to see Jesus? Then come into alignment with the words of the Father through Jesus. All of God's words, all of God's intentions, all of God's plans and will has been established and spoken in eternity through Christ and in Christ. But they are kept secrets, hidden in the realms of mysteries. So in that dimension called mystery, you can see the deep things of God locked up there. So when a man travels through the dimension of revelation, he goes into the storage of the spoken words of God through Christ to assess and comprehend the words and the hidden mysteries of God. At what point does a man qualify to assess the revelations of God when a man transacts with God's word and that man or woman is found in the love of God this man or woman has fallen in love with God and he has passed the text of God's love that man will be qualified by Jesus through his manifestation to transport and elevate that man into the mysteries of God So there's still more to get. There's still more to achieve in Christ beyond salvation. Don't you ever limit the gospel to salvation. Don't you ever limit the gospel to speaking in tongues. Don't you ever limit the gospel to the coming of the Lord Jesus. The greatest beyond salvation is to co-labor and cooperate with God to have his kingdom on earth and his will done on earth that we might see Jesus in order to become like him. Special announcement from the office of the bond servant of Christ, John Anosike. Please beware of fake accounts on social media, be it Facebook, 
YouTube, and all others impersonating the man of God, asking for funds from people. Please note, Pastor John does not have any orphanage in Nigeria or in any country, nor does he ask anyone to donate to any orphanage. Also note that the only official page of the man of God Pastor John Anosike is the one with over 451,000 followers. Our YouTube channel also has over 155,000 subscribers. Note that the man of God does not chat, send friend requests, nor inbox people on social media, be it Messenger or WhatsApp. Therefore, anyone doing such is false and should be treated as such. This is a notice that you are informed and sensitized to be alert and vigilant. Stay connected and keep subscribing to the team teachings of the bond servant of Christ, John Anosike. Due to malicious and fraudulent activities, please note that these are the only official two accounts of the ministry. For EFT or Bank Transfer, Bank, First National Bank, FNB, Account Name, New World Faith Ministries, Account Number, 622-67035048, Branch, Woodstock. Branch code 250655. Swift code FIRNZAJJ. Building Project Banking Details. City of Sons. Bank. First National Bank. FNB. Account name New World Faith Ministries. Account number 623 Branch code 250655. Branch, Woodstock. Swift code, F-I-R-N-Z-A-J-J. To give online, kindly visit our website and use the following link. www.spiritrevelationchurch.org forward slash give. Here, you can give via Payfast for those that are in Southern Africa and PayPal for international donations. Good news for all those living in West Africa. For your giving and donations, here are the only official and approved banking details. Name, Ikechuku John Anosike. Account number, 11700020753. Bank, Zenith Bank. Please note that the following is our official and only PayPal email for the ministry. Donations at spiritrevelationchurch.org. Kindly report any suspicious activities to our emergency line plus two seven six three four two three five eight nine five or email info at spiritrevelationchurch.org.